Hey, what's going on, Beowulf Nation? It's I am Beowulf. Man, back at it with another video. And from being, you've seen all the videos going from being in uh, Myrtle Beach and I'm in California. And I'll tell you, this, this is a view that I see right now. You guys ready to see something pretty cool I found? So I'm in Monterey, California. I'll tell you, this is a pretty pretty cool video i tell you right now i wish i had my jet skis to go riding around in this because this this is epic you guys ready to see this check that out i have a rock formation that is so cool and uh yeah it's definitely definitely a difference to uh south carolina it's actually pretty cool outside it's 67 degrees um i checked the weather back in myrtle beach it's like 90 degrees right now it's a change being where it's cooler but i tell you guys this is pretty cool i got my drone with in the back seat in the back i figure i'm gonna do some filming today of like showing you guys all this stuff because this is pretty cool the water is really cool color uh they have the monterey, monterey aquarium here now, back in 2004, when I raced the Formula BMW, they had their uh, award ceremony end of the year uh, there because we raced at Laguna Seca. So Laguna Seca, or it's called WeatherTech uh, Raceway, or you know, it's they changed the name because of different sponsorship and whatnot. Um, but the crazy thing is getting to we had this award ceremony at this uh, Monterey Aquarium. Now the crazy thing, you guys know I love white sharks. Great white sharks, so cool. This is one of the only aquariums where they have had in captivity uh, great white sharks at numerous times. I remember going to this, and I think like two or three days after the award ceremony, and I'm already back at, back home and stuff, back in 2004, they had a white shark on display there. Then they had it for a whole year, and then when it, the following year came to race here again, right before I came out of here, a week or two before that, they... Uh, release the great white shark back into kept or back into the wild and i figured just kind of guys show you i'm gonna kind of just explore around monterey and fly the drone and you know like here i just was just randomly driving and found this spot and it's pretty cool i i really wish i could get on these rocks i'm kind of like scoping this out and there's really no way of getting out there but the cool thing is i have the drone it looks windy out but i think i could do it um I told you guys, I'm coming to the West Coast. I want to see orcas, so I don't think there are going to be any orcas in here. But you never know. We launch that drone and launch I launch the drone and see what we could see. I know there's a lot of whale watching out here. Uh, so I think this is, if I'm going to see something, this is going to be around there. But you can also see, too, um, I don't know if that's coral out there, but there's definitely like... Um, I don't know if it's seaweed or whatnot. Oh man, look at that seagull like nearly crashing. That's the only thing I hate. Any of my drone pilots will know. Seagulls are like one of the kind of the, the sketchier birds to be flying a drone around. So uh definitely gonna be a little careful. And it's it's cool because I think it's the last time I've been here was 2005. Man, we're nearly 2020. Man, it's a long time ago since I've been here. And there's certain things. I knew, I knew at night when we were driving in, when we were driving down this road, I knew we were near Laguna Seca without even seeing uh, signs or anything. It's just that road and the trees, like you won't forget it. And it'd be cool to go to, down there uh, to see stuff, but I, I kind of want to show you guys something else. So we're gonna, we're gonna scope out here and just have some fun. I mean, the water, it's just a lot different than South Carolina. I mean, I think they got otters and stuff out here. I don't know. I really don't know what we're going to see. So, it's not like a planned video. It's going to be on the roll of, like, what happens, what we see. So, let's get it going. And, and I just think it's cool being here from one coast to the next coast. And it's been an epic trip out here. I'm telling you guys, it goes from, like, going to Universal Studios Orlando. Then they have the Halloween Horror Nights. And then going uh, to jet ski in the Pacific Ocean, going out to an oil rig. I mean, talk about some epic stuff. And the crazy thing out here, there isn't any type of like jet ski rentals to go out. Because 
that was my goal. It's a lot of it's all way down south uh, of California, uh, but it's definitely cool. But I couldn't imagine how cold the water is here. And the crazy thing to anybody who's not been to California, we go from like LA, then going like through the desert, and then coming up here, where it's just a total different scenery and the temperature. I know yesterday I did about five five and a half hour drive up here, about like 300, 350 miles. So it is a fair amount of driving when you're in different regions. But it goes from like, even when it was an hour north of LA, it was like a huge difference in temperature change. Drove up a little farther, found a different place to um, park that's a little bit different view. But man, I tell you, the crazy thing is there's all these like RVs parked. And I'm just looking at the view. I mean, how freaking cool. You're on the road and then find this. But I did see the sign, man. No flying drones, please protect our coastline. It's a fine of $100. So, too, that's why I went a little area. I tried. Launching the drone. It's a little windy here for that little uh, DJI Mavic Air. But also, too, I thought if I'm somewhere where there's not a lot of people, I didn't know there was a hundred dollar fine. I just thought they didn't see it, but I did see that. So I'll go out here and see what we see. Check out the surf out there. Holy cow, look at that wave coming in right there. Wow. Wow. This is cool. Totally different than the beach in South Carolina and a lot of beaches I've seen. I've seen this beach before, but not with filming. It's definitely cool. So just kind of see what we can go and walk around. We could try to get down there. There's a bunch of birds out there. I thought with flying the drone here, then it, where I was, there wasn't a lot of birds. So I wouldn't be really bugging any of the wildlife, but I'm kind of different being outdoors. And uh, it was crazy though, driving up here, there were deer signs, but then there was like bear signs with bears crossing and stuff. Not sure if there's any type of poisonous snakes out here, but uh, I'm filming. I don't have hiking shoes. These Rocks are super wobbly, but man, trying to bring you guys along, kind of seeing some. But so if you ever apply on a trip to this area, it's it's cool. It's a, it's a little cooler. I'm in shorts, t-shirt. I'm comfortable. Um, and it's then the summer. Bro, <laughs> oh man, you can tell there's some wild rocks. Let's see. Man, check this out. Crazy formation. That looks like we're going to try picking that up. That, that doesn't look like a tree. It looks like a hose. It looks like there's, maybe not. I don't know. That's on that. Another hose? Or I think that's like, oh, it's not a hose. It's like some type of seaweed. Alien looking cucumber kind of thing. Oh man, it feels. Man, I knew this is what I wanted to do today is check this out. See, I don't know why there's flies all over this stuff. It's not, it, it's not an animal, I don't think. It could be some type of. Um, uh, maybe a, some type of, um, what do you call it, uh, um, this thing that stings you, um, name's, uh, jellyfish. Could be a jellyfish. That's what it look, kind of looks like. A whole bunch around here. Let's go walk over this way. I uh, hope I don't break a leg. 
you know. And that's the goal to get up that way. Kind of how I'm headed. All right. It's working. So I think this is, yeah. We're going the right way. Wow, check out this view. Look at that bird flying. Todd, look at how lucky these people have in homes like this. This is their view. Now they do get tsunami warnings out here. And there's hurricanes because your coastal line. Earthquakes. Whoa. Oh man, if I could just get up there. All right, guys, we're doing it. Hopefully I'm not invading any wildlife. No, if I just had my GoPro mount, this would make this a little easier of a climb. Doing this stuff one-handed. It looks like birds live up there, a bunch of bird poop. We're gonna try to make it up here. Hopefully I can make it back down. All right. My chance is like a rattlesnake up here. All right, we're doing it. I had to set the camera down. All right. That's a good way to break your neck. Too far away down. Almost up there. I'm checking this view. We're almost to the top. <sighs> Car is somewhere out there. I check this out. I really want to get out to one of those type of rock formations. Obviously, because you can't get in the water. I don't have water shoes. This is close as we're getting to be out here and maybe we'll see a little bit more. Now the next step is to get down there. I really want to get to the front of the rock formation. If I, if I just if I just had my mouth piece, this would make this real easy. Piece of cake. But the hard thing is when you're holding this, and I really this the grip I'm using doesn't have a tripod, so it makes it hard but man what an epic photo you see there's part of the coastline goes all the way out there open ocean Pacific Ocean early this morning it was raining really bad and it was super cold and it's nice how this day became into a really nice day but man check out that major waves right out there All right. <laughs> Trying to get down. Man, look at the drop down there. I had the drum with me. This would be, a, this would be an ideal spot to launch. No birds. Hey, check this out. Epic. Epic.
I'm not sure, but I think I saw something right out of the water right there. It's weird how that stuff all washed up here. So it shows with the, the tide must get really high and come in here. So if you kind of look even to down in these areas, there might be a chance to see like a crab, fish, some type of sea life in here. Man, big waves. Yeah, there's something, something right there for sure. You can see it come up to get air. It could be seal. Yeah, see right there. Oh yeah. All right, let's try to take a look anywhere flat that I know I can. This is probably the flattest it's gonna be to land this drone. The legs aren't that long, so we don't really have a lot. So this is, this looks like the landing area. It's like it has to hit right here. Let's do it. Let's launch the drone. my GoPro, I smelled my eyes, my action. I had my GoPro and I had the mouthpiece so I can get down. I launched the drone way down there. I already folded it up because I was afraid when I turned up the RC that it would fly away. The battery was not that much juice. So uh, luckily I got some flying. It was very hard launching here because it was a real angle. And when it got up, the wind started gusting it. And there was no way that's flat enough to land it here. So I had to like land it down there. I was packing my stuff. All this gear too, you can find on my Amazon store, amazon.com slash shop. I am Beowulf. Everything I'm using in the video is basically on there. Now it's time to get down the, down the hill. But down the little rock formation, awesome view. And uh, yeah, what an epic day. All right, so let's get down it. This will be a lot easier 
without holding a uh, thing in my hand trying to get down this. The hardest part when I already got down this was right down there. <clears throat> <laughs> Started sliding. This is the part, and it's harder when you have a backpack, and I don't want to be. Face plane. Hopefully, I got grip. These are like basketball shoes. Oh man. Ooh. There we go. So I got my wallet. Did it. It's kind of high up. Hard to do with basketball shoes. All right. Mm. These little Jagger marks. Whoa. We did it. We did it. Whoa. Got the drone. Thinking when I hear explore some other places at Monterey. I don't know if I'll go to the aquarium. I think next thing is trying to find some place to eat. Uh, I know they got a Bubba Gump. Didn't hit that up. It was in Universe Studios Hollywood, so I might go there, find some type of seafood restaurant. Somebody was surfing. That's a really tight area around those rocks to be surfing, of all places. But hey, it's what you got to do. The what you got to do to get on the surf. But man, I quickly bust out my Canon ADD with the big lens to get that. I got like, I think I got packed with me like four different cameras for different things. So uh, I'm glad I brought that other camera with because it's like you never know what you can see out really far out there. But. Big boats, but not any jet skis out here. What a neat scenic area. Check this out. Next stop, Bubba Gump. All right, does anybody have a clue what all these are? 
It's so weird. It must be valet or some type of weird parking things that they got in here. I've never seen something like that ever in my life. 